जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एच वी थ्री वी डिड अप टू लेक्चर फोर एंड नाउ वी केम टू द प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज सो इन बिटवीन द लेक्चर्स वील ऑल्सो बी डूइंग द स्टेप्स ऑफ द एक्सरसाइजेज yesterday we started with exercise 1 just a brief introduction about the exercises that we spoke of yesterday that we should be clear why we are doing these exercises we are doing these exercises to develop our self to develop understanding within the self and to see that whatever acceptances we have made about the reality they are actually in line with the reality and not otherwise so in a sense purifying those acceptances those accumulated impressions those sanskars so that is what we are trying to do in exercise 1 and two so if we look at what we have discussed so far we said that we do you know our basic aspiration is to live with happiness in continuity we want fulfillment and we want it in continuity this we identified from the beginning we also said that for this continuity of happiness we need three things so we need right understanding where is that going to be that is in the self we have to develop the right understanding within the self this would be the b1 block to awaken to the higher activities in the self we need to have the right feeling and thought in the self this is also in the self this would be in the b2 block setting our feelings our thoughts in line with our natural acceptance in line with the highest activity within ourselves so this is also in the self with that once we understand the reality once we understand this whole existence with that with the right feeling the right thought within us we can develop the competence for right living with the world outside so this competence has to develop in the self a natural expression of this will happen through the body yes so next slide please so we are doing these exercises to develop right understanding and we said right understanding is understanding the entire existence the way it is so that will include many things it will include the self it will include the body it will include this immediate family it will include the society it will include nature in fact everything in this existence and this potential to see everything the way it is that is there in the self in each one of us it is just that we haven't tapped that potential so we are not able to see it so with that right understanding now that becomes my guide for my feeling and thought till i am able to understand the existence my feeling and thought may have been governed by whatever i have gathered whatever impressions i have gathered from outside 
and they may or may not be in line with the reality so i will know for sure once i am able to see the reality for myself then i know and with that i can motivate my imagination with that that becomes my guide for my imagination and i can ensure this right feeling and right thought within myself what is that right feeling if we look at the existence in the existence once we are able to see this existence we will be able to see that the pattern in this existence is one of relationship one of harmony and one of coexistence so my feeling now comes in line with this so i can have the feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence in the self that is the what will happen in the self and with that when i have the right understanding when i bring my feelings and thoughts in line with that understanding and i become in harmony within myself a natural and a uh, consequence of this is that i want to um share this with others so i also need the competence for right living that means living in relationship living in harmony living in coexistence with the world outside so whatever i do in terms of my behavior in terms of you know behavior means my interaction with other human beings i do it in such a way that i am also happy the other is also happy i don't have to make effort now because i have already understood i can already see this is how it is my feeling and thought are now in line with this and as a natural consequence in the flow it is expressed in my behavior with other human beings when i work with nature also this is expressed when i interact with nature when i work with nature so i am looking for my prosperity how i can benefit but at the same time i am equally concerned about the nature enriching the nature i feel the relatedness i can see the relatedness and i look at my participation in this entire existence i see how every unit is in relationship with every other unit how it is recognizing that relationship and fulfilling that relationship how each unit is in coexistence with every other unit and space and so now when i look at the big picture when i look at the entire nature nature i see not just my limited role with my body or with my family i see my role with all of humanity with in fact all of the units with compassion with the right feeling right thought i interact with every other unit and i participate in the larger order and i keep working for that till there is fulfillment of the human goal and universal human order so this much we had discussed yesterday and as a prelude to paying attention inside we had asked you to reflect on this and also to try and sit by yourself for half an hour 
at a time when you are least disturbed by things outside and putting aside other distractions like phone tv or internet or laptop or whatever else just closing your eyes and sitting down and trying to see inward i know that we haven't really talked about what we are going to see or what we are doing the idea was just to sit quietly close the eyes so that you are not paying attention outside but looking inward so first and fall i would like to hear from you in the chat at least you can mention were you able to do this yesterday did you attempt this yesterday so those of you who attempted can you put yes or those who didn't attempt also can say no we couldn't attempt it i'm getting many yeses occasional noes but many yeses okay now with this paying attention inside how many of us had to keep opening the eyes and looking at the watch and seeing is is it half an hour yet can you say in the chat if that was the case yes or no or were you able to go the full half an hour without really checking your watch or checking your phone for the time how many of us sort of open the eyes to check time ho gaya ke nahi <laughs> okay so many people sat for about 15 minutes very nice some people sat set the time and sat but many people also open the eyes in between nice okay very nice so this is just a reflection of you know our state and you can see those of us who were able to sit quietly for half an hour without checking on the time that you know we are already okay with that possibility those of us who tried looking at the time you can see how we are shifting outside constantly somewhere we are not okay just closing the eyes and sitting i am reminded of a small girl that i a family that i knew and this small girl she was maybe 5 years old at that time she used to talk a lot and so the father told her that you know her name was sweety and the father said sweety can you please be quiet for 5 minutes you are constantly talking can you be quiet for 5 minutes she said okay i will be quiet and then in 1 minute she said 5 minute ho gaye is it 5 minutes yet so <laughs> this is how we, we we are restless we are restless inside because we are so tuned to looking outside that paying attention inside seems like drudgery very boring what to do just to sit with eyes closed and what am i supposed to do so this is just to very briefly be able to see that at least we should be able to sit comfortably and close our eyes in the medical college when um uh, you know you have to start from the first professional uh you start with anatomy and physiology so in the anatomy part you have to dissect the human body and 
study the various parts of the body. So, I mean, I'm just talking of what is done in the colleges, how it goes. So, in the beginning, now what you are going to study from what? So, these are human bodies that have been lying, which are probably unclaimed, which you know, uh, nobody wants. And they have been lying in formalin. So that to preserve them, so that the study can be done. So it has a huge stench. If you are not used to it, it feels like the smell is really bad. So the first several days in many of the colleges, what is done for the students is the students have to sit in the dissection hall. You know, the body will be there, and there will be. So, you know, when I went through, it was like six people are sitting at one dissection table and there is a body lying there, which has come out from the formalin. So there is this smell in the whole hall because there are many, many tables like this. You can think if you have 150 students, how many tables with the bodies will be there and people sitting. So the first days, first few days, the task was just to be able to sit, no putting hanky on the nose, no, no trying to put mask or anything. Those days, nobody thought of mask, but this is a new thing with corona. But you know, people very often would be inclined to put a cloth on the nose so they don't have to smell. So the whole thing was to get tuned to just sitting there in that smell and getting used to it because until and unless that is not a barrier you cannot go further and do the study so in a way you can think of this sitting for some time with yourself as a minimal preparation for looking within There is a hand raised, we'll take that. Neetu Chohanji. Did you have something to say? Did you want to make some observation? Yeah, hello. Namaste, Didi. Uh, I don't know, Didi, I just sat there, uh, mm. but uh, I was to calm outside but inside there were so many thoughts about the entire day whatever happened the entire day mm -hmm. i just wanted to know whether it is okay to have all the thoughts like i was sitting yeah, and i was thinking about fine. what okay mm. because i was continuously thinking for those 20 minutes whatever happened in the day yes yes all my interactions looking outside so when we close the eyes also, that outside is still there inside us. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> okay. So, okay then. But consequential that we start thinking about whatever happened during the day, whoever we met, what happened and how so and so yeah. talked to me and so many things may be there. And you will see that all these thoughts are there. The idea was just to sit, see if we can just sit for about half an hour. But uh, don't worry yes. about the thought. There was this constant yes. urge to, you know, see what is the time. Yeah. Yes. What is, huh? there was this because we are not tuned inside. To, uh, we are not tuned to just sitting because yes, we think yes. that being, uh, you know, active is what is important. So we yes, may have yes. all these people, I'm wasting time. I should not sit like this. I should do something. So is it time now I have, I might think of 10 things to do. Even though nobody is disturbing me from outside, but from within, I may be restless. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. It was just to try to get a feel for how we'll be starting then. Okay, okay. But don't worry about the, seeing the thoughts and all that. That's fine. Okay. As we go you know, further, 
we'll discuss all that. Okay, okay, thank you, Didi. Thank you. So, I think we can go further. Yes. So, what we are going to do in these exercises is we will start looking at the self first. We said exercise one and exercise two. Exercise one has to do with seeing the self and trying to understand the self. And exercise two has to do with understanding the body. So why are we working on the self first? Because once we understand the self, once we can set the self right, then inside we can be in harmony. Once we are in harmony inside, then we can slowly work on being in harmony outside, with the world outside also. So what will be our main focus? Our main focus will be the right understanding of this whole existence. And we mentioned all this, the self, the body, the family, society, nature, entire existence. And understanding of all of this, of course, the understanding has to be in the self. So we'll pay attention in the self. Then the right feeling and thought of relationship, of harmony, of coexistence. Where is this going to be? This is also in the self. I have to bring my feeling, my thought in line with this understanding of the existence. So this is also in the self. This is in the B2 block. So I need to pay attention to the self. That's how we are starting with the paying attention to the self in exercise one. Next slide, please. So what we were saying is that to live with fulfillment, to live with continuous happiness, we need to understand this entire existence. To understand, we have to see. We have to directly see it, to observe it. And what do we have to do to see it? What is the, you know, how do we go about it? We start by paying attention. We begin with what is referred as to be mindful. To be able to pay attention to what's going on in the mind. So in these exercises, we are going to be paying attention so that we can see, we can understand. And ultimately, once we understand, we develop the competence to live with fulfillment. If we don't understand, we tend to make mistakes. For example, we keep saying, you know, when you don't understand the relationship, you are not able to fulfill the relationship. We think we understand because we may have assumed something about the relationship. So if we assume that my relationship only exists with a number of people, then I live with those people in a different manner. My behavior is different with them. My feeling is different with them. And with somebody that is out of that boundary of the people that I have identified as being related to, then my feeling is different for those people. My behavior is different with them. This is why it is so important to understand. Because without understanding, whatever we have assumed, yesterday this question was coming up. Why is it important to live in relationship? Or why is it important to have a relationship? Can you be in harmony just sitting by yourself? So you can ask yourself this. 
first of all to be able to understand once we see that the relationship is already there it's not that i have to have i have to make i have to create or i have to make effort to have the relationship it is already there like it or not understand it or not it is there so if i understand it correctly then i can live accordingly if i don't understand it i have many many choices we already have been doing many things and we can try it out and see if it works you will find that this understanding of the, the the way the existence is once we understand once we are able to see it for ourselves then there is no doubt there is no confusion but what happens is we haven't been able to see it we are working in the b2 block we are trying to logically see does this make sense does that make sense we are going by assumptions and we are trying to logically explain it could be fine if i am by myself why should i bother and you'll see most of the time it is that we are in a way trying to avoid unpleasant relationships when we want to be by ourselves away from everybody else very often we say we would rather so many people in the first level workshop say you know is it, you know why to bother with the relationship let it be let it be meaning i may not understand it but it is already there but we may not understand it because we have not been able to see it and we have not been able to see it because we are still in that b2 block and we are trying to rationalize it logically explain it analyze it and that cannot help us understand because understanding is beyond this logic it is with the awakening to the higher activities that the understanding starts happening and when we awaken to the higher activities we find that that is the picture that is there before that whatever we had assumed about the relationship was all something that we have gathered from outside so anyway we'll talk about these things later so in these exercises our focus is to try to pay attention we are paying attention so that we can see we can understand and ultimately we can live with fulfillment because if we don't understand we are likely to make mistakes in living and then we suffer the consequences also so many times you know in the relationship we are not comfortable so the easiest solution seems to be better not to talk because when you talk so much disturbance so is that really a solution you may not talk to the other but you can see that with your eyes closed also things are replaying within you and you are constantly going on within so although you are physically at a distance from the other but the relationship is already there what do you do with that and it disturbs you and so you go on thinking about it are you in harmony no you are restless you want to keep shifting because somewhere because that harmony is missing you don't want to continue in that state you want to come out of it quickly so you look at the time you look at this you look at that to you know you open the eyes you get distracted by something else because somewhere we are not so comfortable in that state so we want to come out of it 
but being in harmony is when you are so comfortable in the state you can continue to be in that state without feeling the need to come out of it and that also we'll be able to experience at some point so when we are paying attention just now there was this question the what are we paying attention to and is it okay to be seeing the thoughts so while paying attention there are two important things to understand or to be able to see one is what we are paying attention to what is the object of our attention the other is the process of paying attention what is the process that we are going through i'll just there are there's a hand raised but i'll just go through a little bit more and then we'll take the hand yeah so in this paying attention we said that there are two important aspects one is when we are paying attention what are we paying attention to what is the object of our attention and the second thing is what is the process of paying attention so the object of attention is whatever is to be understood whatever we want to live with all that we want to pay attention to so that we understand and we already said entire existence that is the object of attention isn't it that that is the whole thing that has to be understood how do you go about paying attention what is the process we become aware we check we evaluate what is going on within without reaction and as we go forward we'll elaborate on this i don't want to dwell too much on this um yeah so what is it that we have to understand we have to understand all that we live with we said all these things right the entire existence it seems like a lot to understand isn't it so let's look at how we can really understand this how we can make it simpler so we said that existence is in the form of coexistence and this coexistence is comprises the units which are of two types material and consciousness and these units are submerged in space this is what we said existence is in the form of coexistence and that is units that are submerged in space the units are of two types material and consciousness so what we are going to try to do is to try to understand one the consciousness unit so the self is an example of a consciousness unit so we'll try to understand the self we will also try to understand the material unit example of the material unit is the body so we'll try to directly see the body also and the third thing we need to understand is this submergence in space the coexistence so that also we need to understand so when we are doing these exercises exercise 1 is to try to understand the consciousness or the self in detail and exercise 2 is to try to understand the material unit that is the body in detail when it comes to the coexistence and the space the space is a reality which is far more subtle so right now we may not have the competence to be able to see that to pay attention to it to understand it 
so very briefly we may touch upon it but in this course at least we are not doing exercise 3 our focus is on exercise 1 and exercise 2 and once we develop a certain level of competence then we can go to exercise 3 also so this is what we are going to be doing yes we we'll no the hand raised is not there is the question still there sanjan ji and you can raise your hand otherwise we'll keep moving forward yes sanjan ji my voice is been audible very good morning good morning you're audible uh, in the previous to previous slide yes uh if you are not comfortable i think one word you said was that we are not comfortable but still we are in a harmony no no you cannot be uncomfortable and be in harmony somewhere there was a miscommunication okay okay thank you thank you only when you are comfortable inside because when you are in harmony you are going to be comfortable ha yeah yeah yes ma'am yeah. yes 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 you are totally right yes okay thank you so we'll move forward unless there is any immediate question we'll go forward yes so what we are going to be doing you can see again here we have put down the target because that is what is significant for us that we want to live with continuous happiness that is why we are doing all this for that we must understand this entire existence and what is being said is that existence is units submerged in space the units are of two types material and consciousness example of material unit is body consciousness self and the other reality space which is all pervading with that and the units together that forms the coexistence the submergence of the units in space that is the coexistence so we are going to start with one paying attention to the self that is going to be our sequence then going ahead to trying to see the body understand the body and then last because that is going to be much more subtle we need much more competence eventually we would go to three which is the coexistence the space and we get some hint of that when we try to see the distance between two units and the relationship between any two units but more on that later right now we'll just uh, go ahead we can go to the next slide yeah so who is going to see who is going to observe i am going to observe who am i i am the self so one is we see things we are very tuned to seeing things outside through the body through the eyes so we open the eyes some reflection is formed in the retina we make some sense out of it and we try to understand things that way there also if you see in the retina only the reflection is formed we have all studied it in physics and all so only the reflection is formed in the eye the rest of the you know attaching meaning to it and all of that we are doing on our own in fact if you see what you are seeing through the eye is only one side of the picture isn't it so if there is a tree in front of you you are only able to see that part of the tree 
which is in front of your eyes. You are not able to see the part behind, the part that is away from your eyes. But still you are able to sort of make out the form and you are able to understand about the tree because the rest of the picture you complete within yourself. That part the self is doing, isn't it? If you think about it, you are already using the self to observe many things. But in a way that we are looking through the body and then forming some conclusion. But here when we are trying to see directly, to observe directly, we are going to be using only the self. There is no role of body here. There is no role of eyes. The self is the one that is seeing. The self is the seer, if you want to call it that. The observer. The body, the self uses the body only as and when required, like an instrument. But for this understanding bit, you don't need the body. You have to directly observe. This is why we said, sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes. Because you don't want to use the eyes to see, because that is going to make you see outside. So you close the eyes, you sit in a comfortable position, so the body can be given rest. You don't have to worry with the body. Of course, if you sit in an uncomfortable position, you will constantly have to keep shifting because you will not be comfortable. So you can give the body rest, be in a comfortable position from which you won't have to keep shifting and then try to look within. Yeah, next slide. So what are we seeing? What are we observing? This we've already said, but just uh, you know, I can see this again. We are trying to see the self by the self. Many times I hear people say, Mera self. In English, you know, it seems okay when you say myself. But in Hindi, when you say Mera self, So you want to ask that question, who am I? If I am saying the self is also mine, then who am I? So somewhere we are thinking we are the body. That comes out in our expression, see? Even there we say, it is mine. Somewhere you have to say, this is me, no? Who is, who am I? If we ask that question, then we will come to know that the body is the one that is the instrument. But I am so tuned to looking through the body. I see everything as, as if I am body. So I have to see the self by the self. I am the consciousness and I have to observe the consciousness. I also have to see the body. In exercise 2, we'll do that. Seeing the body is also by the self. The seeing part is happening by the self. And we don't need to try to see the body through the eyes. That we have been doing for a long time. Now, we will be closing the eyes or, you know, you can keep it open also if it's not bothering you. But the idea is to pay attention inside. So the consciousness can observe the material. Whatever is subtle, with that you can pay attention to the gross. That is easy. So the body is gross. Self is more subtle than the body. This is why when we try to see the self through the gross eyes, you are not able to. 
because you are trying to see something that is subtle, but you are using a gross instrument, you won't be able to see it. But if you see through the subtle, then you can certainly see the gross easily. So that will be in exercise two. And the third part, seeing the coexistence by the self, that would be the consciousness, the self, observing this whole coexistence. So it would start with being able to see some distance between the self and the body, and then being able to see the relationship between the self and the body, in a way to be able to see distance between the units and the relationship that is there between the units. But like I said, we won't be going into that much. Our focus will be on exercise one and two, and particularly we'll be starting with the self. Next slide, please. So this is what we'll be doing. Right now, you can see the white, white patch. You can see what it says. Outward to inward. Right now, so far, we may have been paying attention outside. And whatever information we are gathering is from outside. Whatever we think we have understood, we have tried to gain that from outside. So we have some assumptions. So like in the, from the outside, we get something about relationship. And we think we have understood relationship. But have we really understood or have we assumed something about the relationship? Based on that assumption, our feelings are going to be driven from that. And when our feelings are driven from that, our recognition and fulfillment is also driven by that. So you find that our assumption about something is ultimately what is driving our behavior. So we have been paying attention outside, we have been trying to see things from the outside and based on whatever we can assume about it, we feel we understand. But there is another way. Can you open up the slide? Yeah. What is this other way? Now we have to pay attention inside inward. So when we pay attention inside the cell, there is possibility of knowing, understanding things the way they actually are, to be able to directly see it within myself without using the body. There is no need for the body to be used in this. So directly I can try to see for myself and now my acceptances are based on this knowing, because now I know. Now there is no doubt. Now I don't need to ask somebody else, is there a relationship? Now I can see that there is a relationship. It's already there. With that knowing in the self, now while paying attention inside, I also pay attention outside. Not that you just keep paying attention inside and you're just sitting like a hermit in a cave somewhere. You do look inside first, understand things, then you pay attention outside also. But now you will be paying attention outside with the true knowledge of how things really are, knowing things. And so now your recognition and fulfillment is according to what you know. 
it is no longer just an assumption without knowing now you have those acceptances based on knowing once you know once you can see this is how the pattern is your recognition and fulfillment also becomes definite it becomes ensured so this is another way of doing things this is one way of living within and with that living with the world outside so paying attention inward and with that paying attention outward so when we say paying attention inside doesn't mean we don't know what's going on outside many people say that you know because we are busy so busy during the day we don't have time to pay attention inside but it's not like that to begin with it may seem difficult to do so that's why in the beginning it may be a good idea to sit separately for half an hour and try to pay attention inside but once you become familiar with that once you are able to see inside then there comes a point when you can see inside and at the same time be doing things outside so you will be paying attention inside as well as outside whenever there is something that requires your attention outside you are paying attention outside whenever there is nothing to be paid attention to outside you are paying attention inside but you are constantly aware you are constantly alert so this is what we are going to be doing if there are any questions so far whatever we have discussed some things to reflect on any observation that anybody has we can take it ji vinod gupta ji 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 namaste namaste, namaste. ji ji at times it so happens mm -hmm. uh, uh while looking inside uh, simultaneously outside world is also visible and uh, whether uh, something uh, doing on my on uh, my own part wrongly or rightly and uh, if wrongly we are doing then what is the right uh, right thing in that situation in given condition so when you say when you are paying attention inside you say the outside is also visible meaning yeah yeah, yeah, yeah simultaneously it at yeah, times so it, it happens so at times ha huh, so meaning your eyes are open and you are seeing something outside is that possible? yeah yeah even while eyes are open not necessarily eyes are closed and uh, while eyes are closed that time we get uh, distracted ke how much time has been uh, as i have mentioned already that twice huh. but while the eyes are open that time also uh, that time we are more uh, more uh, keen just a bhav utsav mein jaata hai ha so here you will see because we have been tuned to looking outside na for so many generations and generations so many journeys yeah, yeah. we have been looking outside we never But inward inward naturally uh, uh, since i am associated for quite some time so mm -hmm. inward journey naturally has to be performed and we have seen uh, our matlab uh, philosophers buddha or uh, mahavir or swami dayanand or swami vivekanand kyunki so inward journey they have performed and got illumination yeah yeah see we see that part but do we also know how many years they spent struggling with that yes see, it didn't happen also... overnight no it took time so yeah. we do have ah. the potential no doubt this is what we have been learning from you or ganesh bhaiya right from the beginning because we have to wait dheeraj or wo to rakhna hi hai ha so journey is... yeah let me just mention this yeah. right now it may seem difficult yeah, yeah. Pay inside because you are able to see so many things outside Yes, but if you see all these people that you mentioned, it was as if you know their need 
to look inside was so strong it was as if they cannot live without that that was their you know how much they wanted to see inside and then there came a mission in their life and they suddenly left the uh, physical facilities for sure and uh, we are not even saying to leave the physical facility we are saying you cannot leave physical facility we cannot live without them also yes by as long as you have the body to take care of the oh. body you know has to rec- it has to have physical facility utility value so value body ke maintain karni padegi yes sustain so, karne ke liye yeah so let's come back to this that physical facility we are not even saying to leave it or anything we are just talking about the priority so right now our focus is okay, on the understanding okay. part yeah understanding yes so for that understanding we have to pay attention inside in the beginning it may seem not only beginning i mean if you see for long 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 time we are paying attention outside so this beginning could be a few weeks could be months could be years depending on you know how far we have come in our journey in my own case initially it has been a full of repulsion mm mm-hmm. uh, looking uh, inside and uh, leaving when no oh, it was a different person yes i was a different person I... that also will happen sometimes when we are doing the ex- you've been through the exercises but again when you go through you will see that you know there are times when we see things inside which we are not comfortable with so you want to come out of it but the important thing is to be able to see that to face it and to be able to resolve it then you will find that there is no problem in closing the eyes and sitting and there is no need to want to look outside so quickly every few minutes because now that restlessness comes down but it needs little practice to begin with we that's why we say you know close the eyes sit in a comfortable position at a time when you are least likely to be disturbed and then look within it's okay if you are thinking about the you know world outside only that's all right but see what you are thinking even what you are thinking uh, you know maybe about anything but try to observe that so we'll come to that in more detail with the exercise one but but what i am experiencing uh, these days is that whether eyes are open or eyes are closed that also is uh, no, having happening unknowingly automatically and uh, so that means we are not aware not that i like that. knowingly but we are not aware so we need to increase our awareness yeah, yeah? it's yeah. thank you yeah, namaste thank you okay um amrish patil ji your amrish patil ji you can unmute yourself and speak yeah namaste good morning didi good morning uh, it was pertaining to the state where you said uh, like we need to sit uh, quiet and absorb within mm-hmm. so it was uh, with the discussion with my sisters earlier when i was knowing with this content Mm-hmm. i just told that uh, uh, living like this uh, can help to know the reality so mm-hmm. now the discussion has started with uh, sitting uh, quiet and looking within yeah and that is meditation that's i am talking of the meditation sisters mm-hmm. and aunt used to always sit for half an hour one hour early in the morning uh, mm-hmm. thinking that it is a meditation state and all that so i said that's not required and knowing with this content of uhv you can always be in harmony so that was my discussion earlier but now Uh, we have also started to concentrate uh, to know or uh, look within uh, i have to sit ideal that's what is the state is it that's i just wanted to clarify this, this is the initial state that uh, everybody need to go yeah whether you sit whether you stand whether you jump whether your eyes are closed whether your eyes are open the point is to pay attention inside okay so i need not to do this exactly every time like that whatever works for you better some people are able to you know directly while going about the work going about the activities also pay attention inside if that be the case that's fine but if there is any issue with that or if you are having any difficulty with that or if you are not able to be aware then, then you have to do is to sit 
for some time close the eyes pay attention inside once you become familiar comfortable with that then also pay attention outside yes thank you thank you devi thank you okay we'll have to stop here this is what we'll reflect on we'll also put a, a assignment for self reflection in the group sunil ji